The loss of a loved one is one of the hardest things any of us ever face, but losing a loved one at the hands of another person is even more difficult. Just talk with mother of Jaden Hernandez, as KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez did. Jaden was a young Sweetwater man killed in an Abilene apartment complex more than two years ago. The trail for his accused killer, Javante Evans, ending last week at a Taylor County courtroom. The jury convicting him of murder, but for Jaden's family, this is only the beginning of their healing process. We finally got some answers and then we didn't get the whole story to everything you know, so there's still a lot of unanswered questions. It's been a long week for Jennifer Hernandez, spending days listening to testimony and evidence in the murder trial of Javiante Evans, reliving the night he robbed her son, 19-year-old Jaden Hernandez, shooting him in the parking lot of an Abilene apartment building, finally getting closure, though, on some details of his death. Well, with the 911 call and the arrival time of the police, you know, I was able to determine that, you know, Jaden's death was very quick. You know, he didn't suffer. He didn't suffer, and that's one thing that it brought me a lot, a lot of peace. Evans is about the same age as her son, and while she's sad to see a young man's life go down this path, prom picture they were doing the roaring 20s. I kind of went overboard with it, but when she hopes the court won't take his sentencing lightly. Well, they showed his interrogation video. He was very upset when they had first brought him in. Um, that his child was on the other side of the door and he couldn't get to her. Like, you're worried about your child on the other side of that door crying, but just a few hours earlier, you killed my child. Because Evans' sentencing could take several weeks, Jennifer says the wounds reopened during the trial won't start to heal until his fate is decided. And it just opened everything back up again. Her sentiments when the loss of her son was freshly new. My son never knew that tomorrow wasn't going to come. Live your life to the fullest. Tell the people around you you love them. Have evolved two years after his death, though still reflecting that same love by showing up to the trial and in the near future, the sentencing. We weren't there when he died, you know, and this is just us being there for him now. In Sweetwater, with coverage you can count on, Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. Thank you, Mercedes. Hernandez plans to attend the sentencing hearings for Evans coming in the next few weeks.